What's up guys, this is Enhander from Fear Productions and first I want to apologize for that buzzing sound. That's our outdoor light. Um, it just kicked on when I decided to start filming. I digress. Today I'm going to show you a little bit uh, about a new pistol that I picked up here recently. Um, a gun shop that I, I frequent. I kept looking at this pistol and looking at it and finally decided that I had to have it. Um, it is the uh, Star Model B or Super B 9mm. Um, I'm going to do a brief video here showing you the uh, filled strip procedure and then there will be other videos to come um, describing some history of the, the handgun as well as um, a shooting video obviously. Um, but let's take it to the table and I will show you how to disassemble the handgun and um, we'll go from there. Okay, we got things set up at the table here. Sorry that you can see the legs of the tripod. I'm still trying to figure out how best to set up everything here in my uh, my workshop. But um, let's get started here. The uh, Star Model B is actually really easy to field strip and maintain. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot like a 1911. Um, it's kind of a mesh between the 1911 and the Browning High Power. Um, First off, let's go ahead and remove the magazine. Now, I haven't had a chance to actually completely clean this handgun yet, um, so it's still got cosmoline and you know who knows what else in there that needs to be cleaned out. So, remove the magazine. I'm gonna take the firearm off safe. Let's make sure that it is in fact empty, which we can see that it is. What we want to do is you notice a little lever here on the side of the handgun. We want to move the slide back just a little bit, and when we do so, that lever, you got to get it just right, that lever is going to move all the way forward, and when it moves all the way forward, it comes apart just like that. When I found that out, because I was thinking that this handgun actually took apart pretty difficult, was it, you know, this assembly was pretty difficult on this handgun? No. no. It was that, that simple. You just have to make sure you get the, the slide in the right position for that lever to come forward. So there's the grip frame. Here we have the, uh, the upper assembly, the slide and the barrel, recoil spring and the guide rod. So what we're going to do, notice very, very 1911-like. We're going to take the uh, recoil spring and the guide rod out. You'll notice that the uh, recoil or the guide rod here, much like a 1911, the end cap is actually attached onto the uh, recoil spring. I'll put that back in there. Everything is very, very captive on this handgun. And we can take the barrel bushing, spin it around, it comes right out, it's like a 1911. And then the barrel slides right out the front, just like a 1911. And judging by the condition of the rest of the gun, I was actually worried about the condition of the barrel on this handgun. And the barrel, other than being a little bit dirty on the inside, the barrel is actually in really good condition. So I don't know if this hand, particular handgun had been rebarreled. It does have an arsenal mark at the top of it. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more research into it, but the barrel is in really, really good shape. That arsenal mark is a circle with a P in it, a little flame on top. Um, it might have been re, uh, repurposed with a new barrel, but uh, I digress. Um, typical inside of the firearm. That's your, uh, your field strip and uh, disassembly of the Star Model B. Now, there's a couple, there's an, another version of the, the Star. It's just the normal S Star Super, or the Mo Super B, or I'm sorry, the Model B. This is the Super B. The Model B is chambered in 9mm Largo. The Super B, which is what this one is, is chambered in 9mm. Um, very simple way you can tell which one you have is if you look at the bottom of the grip frame here, 
sure if you guys can tell on the camera or not, but see the how mine says has the B there. It says Super B. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, B Super. You tell that one's chambered a nine millimeter. Now the nine millimeter Largo, from what I've read and what I've been told, will fire nine millimeter. Um, but over time, it has chance a chance of damaging the the firearm. But it's it's kind of similar to a 357 firing 38 special or 44 Magnum firing 44 special. It'll do it. Um, However, I, I have to do more a little bit more research on this before I actually do take it out to the range because I think my my slide is from a Model B, or just a just a Super, not a Super B, because um, I don't have the B on the slide. I just have it on the grip frame. But in any event, because uh, I think that leads me to believe that at some point in this handgun's life it had been it, w it went back to the armory and had been repurposed to be the super b not just the super um you have to forgive me if i'm, I'm getting my history kind of muddled up here i'm i'm just now learning about this handgun um but what i know for sure is the super b is is chambered is meant for the nine millimeter cartridge the Super or the Modelo Super is chambered for the 9mm Largo but will fire the 9mm cartridge. So let's go ahead and put it back together here. My hands are getting all gunked up because of all the cosmoline that's in here. Go ahead and put the barrel back in, just like so. Go ahead and put the bushing back on. It slides right in. Now the, the recoil spring is kind of tricky on this because you got to kind of guide it in with your hand and then it actually gets captive <clears throat> right here on this portion of the barrel. It locks right into it and then everything locks up just like that and then slides right back onto the rails of the handgun. Now you'll, you'll see the lever wanting to close up there. It will a little bit. Get the safety up. What have I got going on here? There we go. Slide the rail back as you're putting the slide back. Function check. Now it has a magazine safety in it, so you have to put the magazine back in the gun to actually fire check the gun. And we're good there. One more time. All right. Locks open. Go ahead and release the magazine. Now, I will say, I'm probably as much, I actually really like this handgun. Um, I'm probably not going to be firing it much simply because what I've read parts for this handgun and the Modelo Super are very hard to come by. So I don't want to risk breaking something to you know, end up having to spend a lot of money to get replacement parts. Um, so I'll shoot it, make sure it, you know, it's, it shoots the point of aim and, and you know, I'll take it out every now and again, but it's not gonna be something I, I take out a lot. I'm gonna clean it make sure it's up and running, you know, hits where it's supposed to, and it'll probably go back in the safe in my collection, and uh, that's where it'll stay for, you know, until I get the itch to shoot it again. But hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope this answered some questions. Again, I want to reiterate, because I kind of kind of wasn't very specific, when you are reassembling the handgun and you get the, the lever back. And the lever is in the forward position. Let it go home right there. And you're good to go. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.
please be respectful and I will do my best to get to you um, as soon as possible and get your questions answered. Like I said, I'm still learning about this particular handgun. So uh, I will do my best to answer your questions in a timely manner. And if you have any information on this handgun and would like to pass it on, please do so. I'm, I'm open to as much information as I can about these handguns. I love old military handguns and I'm, I'm trying to learn as much as I can every day. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and uh, join the conversation. Thank you guys and have a great day.